Well, I really do like it. But listen, this this guy with the baby hair, that's up there, <laughs> yes. he don't even deserve to see it. <laughs> so make him go lap up with uh, anybody. What's up, y'all? So, uh, this is Will. Uh, we're in the airport right now, uh, about to head to Germany. I'm here to take you uh, on the experience of the Final Four. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> but I'm not six <laughs> Actually, I have to uh, get a new passport when I get home. So when they do that, I'm going to have them take a photo. Who does, who does the best? What do you mean, who does it? No, there is like an official uh, measurement. She was awful. What up, Euro League fans? Kyle Hines checking in. Kyle, check Right now, we're on the plane, about to board. It's a long, really excited for the opportunity to be for Euro League for a championship. About to take off, so we'll see you all in the long. What's up, everybody? B Davies here, FC Barcelona. Just landed here in Cologne, had a nice smooth flight. Uh, waiting now at baggage claim uh, for our bags. Um, after that, we'll find the bus and head to the hotel, get some dinner and uh, get some rest, get ready to start day two. Visco Barca. Finally arrived to the hotel. Uh, good travel day, nice and simple. Uh, pretty excited about being here. As soon as we got here, the cameras were flashing all right away, uh, interviews and whatnot. Obviously, this is an exciting time for uh, everybody here and uh, maybe a little stressful time. But just ready to get the games going and get to playing. What up, everybody? This is Kyle Hines checking back in. We just got to Cologne. Now we're in the hotel. As you can see right here, I got the official EuroLeague basketball with the Cologne logo on it for 2021. Super excited to be here. Um, this is my ninth Final Four in a row consecutively, but my first with Olympio Milano. This is the first time our club has been here since 1992. Um, so it's really exciting for all of us, you know, like I said before on the plane, to have the opportunity to compete, you know, for a title. Um, but like I said, we just got to the hotel, I'm gonna relax a little bit. And later on, uh, on my next post, I'll show you guys some of the facilities. <laughs> if they take your seat, I'm all set up off the Yeah, I'm, I like it, you know, but I'm not kicking this seat. Oh, I really do like it. But listen, this this guy with the baby hair that's up there, <laughs> yes. he don't even deserve to see it. <laughs> so make him go lap up with uh, anybody. the first day of practice uh, out in Cologne. Uh, obviously, uh, we're trying to uh, get rid of the wrinkles here and there, but uh, all in all, it was a good day. To be in this situation now, to be two games away from uh, a yearly championship is crazy. And for me to still be playing at a high level after an injury like that uh, is great because it's obviously it's not an easy injury to come back from. And I'm happy it went this way, and I'm just excited to get to the games tomorrow well, in two days and compete. What's up everybody? Uh, 11 p.m. here in Cologne. We just finished uh, our last practice of the evening. Get ready for tomorrow. Uh, gotta head home, get some dinner, and uh, get ready for tomorrow. This is Barca. What up, EuroLeague fans? This is Kyle Hines checking in, and we are one day away from the EuroLeague Final Four semifinal game. 
Um, you know, as I said before, this is my ninth consecutive Final Four, and you know, I've learned that you know every game and every Final Four has been different, um, but the approach to me has been the same. Um, you know, I learned early on from advice from you know older players during my first Final Four. They told me that you know as a team and as an individual, you need to just concentrate and just focus on on you know do what you have done that have gotten you here to this point. Um, you know, continue to, you know, do the things you've done throughout the whole entire season um, and, you know, leave it all out there. I think that's the most important thing because it's a one game scenario. It's a one game final. It's do or die. Um, you never want to leave the court with regrets. So that's the way I'm kind of going into this final four with my team. Um, we're going to leave it all out there, um, give it all we got and, you know, and try to have the, the most opportunities to, to win the game. Um, but I'm excited. Um, like I said before, you know, we only have one day left until the, the semifinal game, and I'm really looking forward to it. See you guys soon.